Hello! Today we're going to go over how to get the Scavengers armor set from the newest DLC subject 2923. It's this current set that I'm wearing right now. It's kind of cool looking. I don't know how I feel about it. I've been rocking it for a couple days. Basically, ammo, iron, scrap pickups increase total ranged and melee damage dealt. So as you're farming and picking stuff up, you increase your damage. And it also reduces your incoming damage, so you become a little more tanky. Stacks up 10 times, lasts 60 seconds, which is a really long buff, which is nice. So you don't feel like you have to constantly be farming. At or below 50% health, pickups grant two stacks. Taking direct damage removes five stacks. So you can get your 10, but then you can be five, then you can be zero if you get hit twice. And it pulls scrap and iron materials towards the wearer. All right, so for instance, the, the, the suck diff... <laughs> The suck intensity. Yeah. Hey. Hey. Boom. Then I have to get anything up. It sucks it in. So you get 10 stacks times two. Two per stack. So 20% damage bonus and damage. I don't know if it's 20% damage reduction, but. And you'll notice in the lower right hand corner, I have nine stacks, 42 seconds left before it dissipates. So if I pick up one more item, it'll reset it, make it 10 maxed, and then we'll have 60 seconds again. Yes. Yes. Now, where do you find it? Well, in one of the zones here in, in Resum, it's called Judgment Spear. It's one of the ice cap boat zones. When you get there, you got to fight your way to the very end. There's no boss or tunnel. It's literally just a, a side dungeon. You get to the end. And there's going to be eight statues. There's some markings over to the right side. So if you're facing the statues to the right, there's a rock wall with some ancient scratchings, hieroglyphs on the wall, right? Go click on it, read it. Um, the first time I did it, I didn't get any text. But text is supposed to pop up on the screen, usually three paragraphs. It's supposedly randomized. The four times I've been there, it's always been the same one. You have to read it and find out what happened to Magir. Um, is he harmed? Is he unharmed? Is he wearing the Drax skull on his shoulder? So you gotta read it, find out what's going on with it. Then you have to go over to the statues and find out, um, if the statue matches the story of Magir. Ma Magir. M-A-G-I-R. The things you're looking for, um, the tail could be there, the tail could not be there. He could be missing a thumb, he could be missing fingers, he could be missing all of his appendages. Um, the crown has a spike or no spike, and then the Drac shoulder skull could be there or could not be there for me it's always been the one where he's unharmed so he has his tail he has his fingers um and then he's wearing drac's skull as a reminder which so then he has the skull on his shoulder but it never mentions anything about the crown so the first time we did it we picked one that was fully intact that had the spike and we failed so going forward we went back and did it again with no spike shoulder piece all fingers tail, etc. right? Something to keep in mind when you first get there. If you just run in towards the gear, this will happen. Okay. <laughs> and then, yes. And then, if you pick the wrong one, this will happen. What does this do? Oh, lost that piece of armor. And then finally, if you pick the right one, this will happen. Ground place top his torso. It's the same. Yeah, okay. That's the same exact thing we read. So. Tail. Fingers. No horn. This is probably it, but hold on. Missing a thumb. No Drac. No Drac. Yeah. Missing fingers. Missing fingers. Missing fingers. So it could... Nope, missing a thumb. It's this one.
Yeah, it is. Cool. All right, so there you go. That's that's how you get the scavenger gear. Again, I don't know if it's really that that worthwhile. I've been running around just farming random drops and stuff, so I've been running one piece adventure and two piece scavenger, so I don't have to go spam the E key to pick up items off the ground. I still have to pick up ammo, unfortunately. I get why you can't pick up ammo automatically because then you suck it away from all your friends if you're playing co-op, and that would be kind of rude. But it's okay. It's okay. I mean, it's like Pokemon. You got to collect them all, right? So, anyways. All this has been done on stream, so if you want to come hang out, we're going to start doing uh, a hardcore run. We might end up doing a Subject 29-23 melee only run, since I've done that already on the main game, back before they had all these melee items. Uh, so, melee might be quite a bit quite a bit easier and more fun this time around with all the new additions to the game that benefit one-handed and two-handed combat and not just ranged. So, if you want to check that out, come on and hang out. We might start doing some co-op stuff as well. You can swing by over at twitch.tv slash slightgumby between the late night hours of 8 p.m. till about 2 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. It's West Coast United States. You can follow me on Twitter for news, updates, and goofiness. We have a Discord channel. You should check that out, too. It's lonely. It needs you. It needs you. It needs you. Anyways, I'm out. See you guys in the next one. Bye-bye now.